Hi Leo, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Reading from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your reading. This is for the 30th of September through to the 6th of October 2019. So we're going to do your general first, then we're going to hone down the cards, look at your work, and also we're going to look at your love. So let's get shuffling. Leo, let's have a look at your reading. So this week, Leo, you are showing as being, wow, the Ace of Swords. I mean, you're showing, certainly showing as being very powerful. Um, also, when you're the Ace of Swords, you hold power and strength within your hand. You're the sword. You hold, I mean, that's your hand. You've got the sword in your hand. So you have the power to make a breakthrough. You've got the power to cut things away, to cut away worries or fears or you know, past energies, there's a sense of being very clear this week as well with the Ace of Swords energy showing there, because the Ace of Swords represents clarity, so this week I'm seeing you guys as being extraordinarily clear, Leo, this week, you've got this kind of, this sense of purpose with the Ace of Swords energy, I see you as being very strong, very powerful, you've got knowledge in your hands, because the Ace of Swords is knowledge, so you've got a lot of knowledge in your hands, very intellectual, very clear this week, what is the situation about? It's about a friendship, Three of Cups. It's about the partnership. So some of you guys cutting away probably with the Ace of Swords from a partnership. Some of you guys with the Ace of Swords very clear about a partnership as well with the Three of Cups energy. Okay, you hold a lot of information as well, a lot of clarity concerning that partnership, that friendship with the Three of Cups energy. What is the uh, what is it that you need to? Uh, what is what is your goal for the week? Oh, Temperance in the reverse. Oh, I don't think they're meant to be reversed. Yeah, they're not meant to be reversed. Oh, sorry. They were the wrong way around. Okay, temperance in the upright. I think that your goal is to heal a situation here. I think you might have fallen out with someone, Leo. That's how it's coming across to me straight off the bat. I think that your, your hope is to, or your goal is to heal a situation. Because when you get the temperance energy, it's all about healing. So it's all about blending and harmonizing and bringing opposing situations and opposing ideas and opposing thoughts back together okay so it's all about getting that balance and that flow going through again and I think that your your goal is to harmonize the situation I think that you've had problems with it I don't even think that you guys are cutting away but then again if you are cutting away from a friendship from a partnership it might be that your goal is to heal this week and maybe this is maybe you were involved in a partnership that was kind of very kind of dis bringing a lot of disharmony into your life that temperance card bring, could bring to bring personal balance back to you emotional balance if it is that you're very clear on a situation concerning a friendship showing here, it might be to bring harmony back. We'll have to see. Um, this would be the reconciliation card. Is the temperance energy? What is your? Uh, what is your? Uh, what is the obstacle you need to overcome, though? The chariot. Okay, that's interesting. I think that this is a person, the chariot. I get that immediate. And when you're a chariot, you just read intuitively. So the chariot represents somebody who has power over two. If you look here, there's three people on that card. So I wouldn't be surprised if this was you and two other people here. But the obstacle that you need to overcome, could be a Cancerian individual, but I think the obstacle you need to overcome here is that one of you in this team of people has more power over you and someone else. I don't think that this is you. But also it could be thinking about it, it's just moving ahead with this, having the willpower. I actually think that, no, I'm going to reread this. I'm going to say that I think the obstacle you need to overcome is having the willpower to do it. Because when you've got the chariot energy, it's all about having that willpower, that determination and that motivation to move ahead with the plan. So I think the obstacle you need to overcome is having that willpower, that, you know, that determination and that move, that motivation to move ahead with this plan. Okay. I do think that actually you want to reconcile the difference, Leo, with someone here. But do you have the motivation and the willpower to do it? What could you be achieving by the end of the week? Well, you could start working on this with the Three of Coins. Three of Coins is all about putting hard work and effort into a plan. So you could definitely start working on that with that Three of Coins energy. What is the, um, what do you need to avoid? Seven of Cups. I think in a way you need to avoid with the Seven of Cups energy, looking at this situation in an unrealistic way. Because the Seven of Cups is cloudiness and it's illusion. So I think you need to avoid looking at the situation in an unrealistic way. Maybe looking at it like it's going to be easier. But I don't think you're even looking at it as though it's going to be easier. 
or an easy thing to do because you need to overcome the obstacle of willpower. The chariot. You need the willpower to do this, Leo. That's the obstacle you need to overcome. Do you have the motivation to do this? To reconcile a difference with a friend? There's something about the Seven of Cups. Avoid the Seven of Cups. I think there's something to do with being unrealistic. Somewhere along the line you're being unrealistic about something here. What is it you need to embrace? The Queen of Wands. Energy. Could be a person. But then again, this is you. I think that you need to embrace it. You're going to have to kind of... But, you know, when I look at that Seven of Cups, I don't think it's being unrealistic. I think that this is kind of being um, uh, procrastinating. Because with the Seven of Cups, you're like, well, oh, well, which way could I do it? Maybe I should do it this way. Maybe I should do it that way. Maybe I should just do it the other. Whereas the Queen of Wands, she's just going to get in there. She's just going to be like, you know, come on, let's sort this out. You know, we've had a problem. I'm just going to get on the phone to you and we're just going to talk it out. That's your Queen of Wands character. She's not going to procrastinate. She's just going to go right in there and she's going to sort the whole thing out. So I feel that you need to avoid procrastinating and embrace it. You're just going to have to do it. Because Leo, actually that's you, isn't it? Queen of Wands. What could you, what do you, if you need advice, where can you go? The Hanged Man. You know, the hangman is somebody who's just really easy. But also the hangman is somebody who can help you to look at something from another angle. Okay? Uh, because this is the card about looking at things from a different perspective. But this is the hanged man. Alright? So this is where you would go to get your advice and support. I don't think it's somebody who's trying to help you look at something from a different perspective. Because... You were told to avoid the Seven of Cups, and that is looking at the situation from a different perspective, because you're looking at all perspectives. So it's not that. This is someone who's not really a part of the situation, because they're kind of like on the peripherals of it. They're just kind of hanging around and, you know, oh, yeah, I see what's going on there, but they're not really in it. So you don't want to get support and advice from somebody who's already in it, because they might just tell you things you want to know, or they might tell you things you don't want to know. You just want to Go to someone who's kind of on the peripherals or they're slightly on the outside of the situation with the hanged man. And this person, I think, Leo, is going to be able to say, well, yeah, I think you could probably do it this way. That This is someone who's not really bothered. This is just someone who's kind of looking in and they can see certain things, but they're not really that closely intertwined in the situation. All right, we're going to hone down the camera on the card, Leo, and then what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the actual spread. Bear with me. So, yeah, we've got the cards down. Let's have a look then. So, for your reading, guys, for the week, what I'm seeing here is you guys are the Ace of Swords. You hold the power of information. You also hold in your hands the power of the Ace of Swords energy of clarity, okay? Because the Ace of Swords shows to be informed, Okay, because you're very clear, you hold the information in your hands. And I think that you're very clear about a situation this week with that Ace of Swords. It's about a partnership, a friendship here with the Three of Cups energy. I think that this is a partnership, a friendship that you probably fell out with someone on. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here with the Three of Cups energy showing there. Your goal is to do temperance. So this would be to heal, to rectify the situation, to reconcile the friendship. You need to overcome the obstacle of willpower and having that willpower to bring things back in. So with the chariot, this is about having the motivation, the ambition, the dedication, the determination with the chariot energy to move forward with the plan of temperance energy, which is to rectify the situation. The obstacle that you might also need to overcome is that, that maybe there is one of this group who seems to be very much a dominant force when it comes to other people. I'm seeing clouds on this card as well. So this is somebody breaking through the clouds. So another thing that we could probably look at here is saying that you need to overcome the obstacle of trying to break through the confusion um, problems uh, of the situation that happened within that friendship. By the end of the week, you could at least be achieving with the Three of Coins energy, either working together with these people or at least taking steps with that Three of Coins energy to try and work on resolving the situation. Avoid procrastinating, I think, with the Seven of Cups, thinking, well, maybe I should do it this way, maybe I should do it that way, maybe I should do it the other way, because you need to embrace that you are the Queen of Wands. If there's a situation that needs rectifying, you've just got to attack it and go for it, which is what the Queen of Wands does. Uh, if you need advice, go to someone who's not completely involved in the situation. They're the hand man. They tend to just hang around on the peripherals of the situation. They don't really know much about it, but they've just kind of ducked in and ducked out. They're not really that tightly intrinsic in the situation. Go to someone who can give you support who's not really a part of whatever's going on in this partnership group. 
what's the uh, advice? Universe Spirit, what's the advice you have for Leo on this reading? What's the advice? Oops, two cards want to come out there. Oh, now I'm using the wrong cards. I'm using them, but maybe I need to use them. Uh, well, it's saying give your relationship a chance. I don't know why it came. Work on your partnership. I think it was meant to come out. I used the wrong cards. I was meant to use the angel advice cards. I was using the romantic ones. But yeah, it says give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. That's what the first card says. And the second one is your feelings are real and worth exploring. So I feel it's saying you should work on this partnership. And if, you know, whatever you've been feeling about that partnership, it's real. It's very real. And you need to express it and talk about it. Okay. Funny that, that those cards, I've just asked through the, these cards as well, that these were the cards I meant to use. Any advice you have for Leo on this reading through these cards? Uh, first card is you need to communicate clearly uh, because there's something better. All right, and it's up to you, all right, but you are ready, okay? You need to reconsider and be assertive, okay? So I think it's saying here as well, communicate clearly, there is something better, but it's up to you. However, you are ready to reconsider and you need to now be assertive in that. All right, what we're going to do now, Leah, we're going to quickly have a look at what your work reading is, bear with me. Okay, Leo, this is work. Let's have a look. So for your work, you've got the world. So this world card can mean the ending of a cycle in work. It can also mean achievements. Okay, nice. I'm seeing achievements within a partnership. You can read the world two ways. You can either read it as the ending of the cycle card or as a massive achievement. Now, what happens with the world is if you've been working on something, it tells you you're going to achievement, achieve it. And I'm seeing the partnership card of the Three of Cups. It looks to me like you've got an achievement coming. You've got celebration around that. Or there could be you're achieving something within a partnership Three of Cups energy with a Queen of Wands. But that's you, isn't it? That's you. So uh, the Queen of Wands in a, work, in a work reading is all about ambition, all right? So I'm seeing you guys achieving your ambitions, celebrating. You might be celebrating achieving an ambition here within work, Leo. Let's have a look at the next one. Yes, and you're definitely moving forward with the chariot. It's funny, you've got the same cards that showed up for the last reading. Definitely moving forward, success and victory with the chariot energy. Two of Wands, this is, when you get the Two of Wands, it's a, a business partnership. I'm seeing success, so I'm seeing two cards that are indicating partnership. Three of Cups and the Two of Wands. I feel that your ambitions with the Queen of Wands energy, Leo, it's being achieved with the world energy. And I'm seeing celebration around that. And what you're celebrating is you've got some success and victory concerning a creative or a business partnership with the Two of Wands energy showing here. Uh, you've got the King of Coins. So maybe your partnership is with the King of Coins, a business partner. Two of Wands is the business partnership card and the King of Coins could be the business partner. King of Coins energy here. Be careful of this though. I'm getting the impression that there is a person around you who is not all that they seem. Because the Five of Swords is somebody who's taking advantage. Five of Swords in a work reading can be a competitor or somebody who wants to put you down with the Five of Swords energy. Uh, three of Wands. Uh, I'm seeing something completely different here, though. I think there's two readings in one. I think the other reading is saying some of you guys who have had some form of a conflict or problem with a King of Coins, or this is a very manipulative King here. Some of you guys are looking for something else concerning this energy showing up here. Let's have a look at the other one. Uh, yeah, you're looking towards a new beginning. Can you see how the Three of Wands looks towards the Fall? You're looking for a new beginning with the Fall energy. Uh, Ace of, yeah, definitely new beginnings because you've got the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is a new beginning in work. And the Fall is a new beginnings as well. And you're looking towards both cards. There's a problem some of you guys have got with the King of Coins. Okay, Five of Swords is showing here. So Five of Swords, King of Coins. So this could be a, 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 a boss who is with the Five of Swords energy... Uh, quite nasty as well the five of swords is the type of person that puts you down you see with the five of swords energy this person is quite cruel you might be dealing with a very cruel boss here because king of coins would usually be the boss card and this is somebody who could be quite cruel i'm thinking that some of you guys are dealing with a quite a cruel boss though and you're looking for a new beginning you're looking for a new position here so i'm seeing two things in terms of work number one some of you guys you're achieving your ambitions the ambition is you the king queen of wands and with that ambition card of the Queen of Wands, you are achieving your ambitions, you're celebrating. So I'm seeing you guys, some of you, celebrating, achieving with the world and ambition with the Queen of Wands energy showing up here. 
okay this might be to do with three of wands your ships are coming in maybe there's a new beginning a new job that you're starting okay i'm seeing success the chariot energy two of wands in a creative or a business partnership as well so achieving world ambition queen of wands celebrating celebrating achieving an ambition uh, you have success and victory in terms of a business partnership or this can also be the new beginning as well with the two of wands energy i'm seeing some of you guys this might also be in with this i'm seeing some of you guys here also dealing with a really nasty boss this is a really uh, cruel boss, verbally very, very cruel boss. Somebody who wants to keep you down and put you down. This is a destroyer. I'm seeing you guys now looking away from this and you're focusing on starting somewhere new, starting a new opportunity as well. Some of you guys not dealing with a very good person here as well showing up so i'm seeing two things some of you guys will be achieving success you're celebrating it within a partnership a business partnership and some of you guys i feel you're dealing with a really cruel boss but you're looking for something new um i'm not seeing yeah it's okay i was thinking of something else but i don't think it fits in with the reading all right bear with me i'm gonna have a look at your uh look at your uh, love reading as well so bear with me Okay, the universe threw out <laughs> five, four cards and then it threw out six at me. So that's your 10 card reading, I guess, Leo. Let's have a look at what's going on for love. Uh, for love, Leo, let's have a look. So what we're starting off with, Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune can be changes, sudden changes, unexpected changes, your destiny, your fate. Uh, we've got a three of coins. I think there's something unexpected coming in and I think it might be in work. So it might be that you meet someone within work it's unexpected you weren't expecting to meet them out of the blue there's someone new that comes in uh we've got the uh, yeah it's definitely within work i think uh three of coins eight of coins is work so i think there's an unexpected admirer or unexpected love within work coming in for some of you guys um and that's you again there the queen of wands all right um for you queen of wands energy showing up here oh though the lovers is reversed okay i don't think you're going to fancy this person though because the lovers reverse means a lack of love a lack of interest it's one-sided love and you're the queen of wands and you're sitting next but but it's almost like it's saying but the but leo the queen of wands lovers reverse isn't feeling it so i am seeing unexpectedly somebody coming in love wise for you in the workplace three of coins eight of coins but i think leo you the queen of wands i think that you're not showing much interest with that lovers in the reverse what's the next card showing up here i think that you're looking for something else you're waiting three of wands energy yeah you're waiting for just you're looking for justice you're looking for your soulmate the justice card is your soulmate so i feel that you're looking for your justice it's your karma you're looking for justice it's your karmic partner you're looking for your your soulmate here somebody's coming in in work it's unexpected but i feel that you're not feeling it with that lover's reverse because you are looking for your soulmate with justice energy showing up here yeah and the sun energy you're looking for the one you're looking for your your soulmate with the justice energy the sun energy this would be the real deal here with the sun energy yeah you're looking for your your soulmate happiness sun energy with the king of cups with the king of cups with, we won't say the king of cups but a king of cups i mean some of you guys might be waiting for someone else here oh there's two kings all right that's interesting that showed up for another sign before exactly like that um do you know how things going on here, uh, Leo? I think that unexpectedly this week, within work, uh, there could be two people around you. I think these are two people showing up unexpectedly. A king of cups and a king of swords. I think unexpectedly within work, so wheel of fortune unexpectedly, within work, three of coins, eight of coins, there's two people showing you interest. But I feel with the queen of wands in the reverse, you guys are, sorry, queen of wands in the upright, that's you. There's a lack of interest here. There's a lack of emotional connection. You're not interested in these two people here because you are waiting for your soulmate to come in with this justice and the sun energy. You're waiting for the authentic, genuine soulmate to come in with these two cards here. I'm seeing interest around you, especially in work between, you know, in the next few days, in the next few weeks even i like to kind of stretch it out a bit and say maybe the next few days next few weeks i'm definitely seeing a lot of kind of um 
interest around you because you've got these two kings, king of cups, king of swords. I think these people show unexpectedly you've got a lot of attention coming in with those two people here within the workplace. So unexpectedly, a lot of attention, king of cups, king of swords, two kings, okay, within the workplace, three of coins, eight of coins, but Leo, queen of wands, is not interested, love is reversed, okay, you are waiting, you're looking out for three of wands energy, your karmic partner, your soulmate with the justice and the sun energy, all right, so even though you've got love around you, uh, Leo, I think that you're waiting for the one, all right, let's have a quick look at what your romantic cards are saying, what's the advice that you have for Leo on this reading, what's the advice, uh, the advice is codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life, maybe you're still addicted to someone, maybe you're addicted to having a certain type come in, maybe that's kind of having an effect on you finding the right one or something like that. For work, finance, what's the advice you have for Leo, please? Uh, cooperation instead of competition. So it says here, what's yours is yours and no one can take it from you. There's no need to compete as there's an abundance for all. You have complete access to unlimited abundance for yourself and to share with others. With cooperative partnerships, you can accomplish anything. And finally, answer deck, please, universe, in three cards. Advice through the answer deck for Leo, please, in three cards. So firstly, it says there's a deception here. All right. Um, troubleshooter. Uh, jealousy. Okay. Um, I think there's a deception around you in the next few days or in the next few weeks. I'm seeing deception. However, I feel that you can troubleshoot where it's coming from, the jealousy. Where's the jealousy coming from? Because the jealousy card is the deception card. I think there's somebody who's not telling you the truth. And I think that some of you guys, I think the universe is saying that you're going to need to troubleshoot. You're going to need to find out who it is that's actually quite jealous of you. Because I think that somebody's hiding something with the deception card. And it's up to you to troubleshoot, to find out who's quite jealous, who's jealous and who's maybe causing some tumultuous energy around you, uh, Leo. All right, that's your reading for the week. Uh, if you uh, would like a private reading, just go to the comment section, go to my private, um, private, go to the comment section, you'll click on the link to my website there, um, and also the end screen as well. Um, and also you've got your monthly love reading up for October, so make sure you check that out. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.